Welcome, race fans, for another episode of Pure Racing Pit Reporters on your NASCAR's official YouTube channel. Um, well, hello and welcome from Germany. My name is Andre Wiegold and I'm an editor and the reporter for the NASCAR Win Euro Series. And again with me, all the time with me, my boss and the PR manager Gianluca Guglia, who is again with me today. And together we will bring you behind the scenes of Europe's official NASCAR Series. And we have two major announcements today. And we are talking about DF1 racing and we have two protagonists here for this episode for you. Welcome, race fans. Hello, Andre. And remember, uh, like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll be ready to answer you. Uh, well, the first one, despite being just 27 years old, uh, Nico Rocca is one of the most experienced Euronescar drivers around with 71 Euronescar Pro races. I think only Gabillon has more than him. He has four wins, 14 podium finishes, and five pole positions in his career. He finished third in points in 2018, and at the end of his first season with DF1 in 2020, he was 19 points with a strong podium in the very last event of the season. Welcome, Nicolo. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much, John. I and, feel old right now. And we have another guy, <laughs> Justin Kunz from Germany, joined the NASCAR Win Euro Series when he was 18 years old in the Euro NASCAR 2 where he finished sixth in points in 2017 and he raced 47 times, uh, 40, 70 times. In 2018, he pulled double duties by racing in both NASCAR Win Euro Series championships. He joined DF1 Racing in 2019, focusing on the Euro NASCAR 2 and then moved up in 2020 to Euro NASCAR Pro. And 2020 was a very solid season for the German who scored five top tens and finished third in the Junior Trophy. Hallo und herzlich willkommen, Justin Kunz. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Hello guys, so let's start with the breaking news. You will both yeah. be back one in 2021. So obviously, we understand you work well in 2020. Feel good at that at DF1. So what are your thoughts entering this new season? Who goes first? I can go. Uh, I mean, um, 2020 has been has been uh, not the easiest season for, for me, but um, working with DF1 has been great. I mean, we we had to basically work with a new car and uh, we had to set it up. It takes some time. We had done some testing, but also the first couple of races of, of the season were, uh, were basically testing for us. But then by the end of it, we were freaking fast. And I mean, we didn't win, but I think we, we would have deserved the win. I mean, in Valencia, a few, a few things happened here and there. Um, but yeah, it was obvious for me that I, I would have been keen to uh, to race again on the 20. Two and uh, with the front racing, I mean they have been believing in me, so um, I'm very much looking forward to to race uh, with them. We created a very strong crew um, with uh, with um, a couple of guys that follow me on the 22, and I think we can fight for wins uh, every every race in 2021. I strongly believe so. Um, and yeah, cannot wait to be to be back in the car. Yeah, now it's it was my second year with DF1 racing in 2020, and um... Yeah, we know each other uh, for a long time now. And it was no question for me um, whether it's with DF1 racing uh, or or even... Um, <laughs> so with DF1 racing or, or no NASCAR again for me. And um, yeah, it was a was a great deal with, with Norbert, so with DF1 racing. And um, I'm really, really happy about the contract extension. Yeah. Um, 2020, as you said, um, was a big step for me. Uh, we improved a lot, me as a driver, and also the team, the crew, the engineers, the mechanics. Um, you know, it's it's like a gearbox, and the gears have to mesh with each other. And um, yeah, it, it takes time. And yeah, you you felt that that the second year was was really really better than the first year. And now I hope third year will be better again. All right, before we start with the racing part, uh, let's go a little bit into the private part. Um, we know you both have jobs outside of racing. So what are you doing in this strange period of time and what are you doing to prepare for the new season? Let's start with Justin. Yeah, so for sure I have my normal work in the car dealership as a mechanic. And um, yeah, so there are there are no, no um, reasons for me to stay home. 
uh, with with the COVID things. So I work normally and um, yeah, the gyms are closed in Germany. I don't know uh, how it is in the other countries, but that's a big problem. Um, I only can do the, the sports stuff uh, outside or at home. So no, no real um, training with, with, um, with the things in the gym and um, yeah, but so I do my normal life and wait for the season to start. All right, Nicolo. Yeah, for me, I've actually been going to the office. So I do have an office job um, in finance here in London. Um, so yeah, it's it's a different life uh, compared to to racing, obviously. But I I wanted to 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 have both, uh, basically two careers in parallel. Um, and life has been pretty much normal. I've been uh, keep on going to the office, uh, and on that side, everything has been going fine. Uh, and training. I'm very, very into running. I'm very much into cycling. So gym or no gyms, I, I'm always going to train. And, and for me, it's very important. It's very important to, to keep the motivation high and, uh, and be mentally, mentally ready and strong for, for the new season and for, for whatever, whatever challenge is going to come, come up in my life and in racing. Um, so I, I, keep on, I keep on exercising basically every day. Um, it's something, something that I love to do. And, uh, it makes me it makes me definitely stronger on the racetrack as well. We know some some fans out there are interested in it. So, what's the latest time on the Alp Marathon? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've done one thirty, but I was planning to do one right before Valencia. So the plan was to to basically build up the training up until uh, the week before Valencia and do an Alp Marathon then in London and then come to Valencia like super super ready uh, and the, and the goal uh, would have been under 125 okay i have also a question john never gonna do that yeah no um, it's not this that fast it's okay it's, uh, it just it just need to be consistent all right now uh, the next one i have for justin because you said you're a mechanic in real life not a b up uh, beside um the racing part does this help you understanding the car and the setup side in the Euronesca more because you have so much experience in working on cars? Yeah, of course it helps a lot. Um, the understanding of an engine and uh, the setup, the, the springs, the shocks, everything on the car, you, you know how it works. And so you can um, use your, your, um, your experience and um, yeah, of course it helps a lot, yes. All right, John, Fantastic. you're next. Yep. Looking back at 2020, guys, what was the highest point of your season? Uh, I mean, on my side, it was definitely uh, Valencia and the last few races, the last podium in the last race. But in general, uh, when I realized in Valencia that we actually had the speed to fight for the win. Uh, it felt very good. It did feel good. I mean, in, in Grobnik already in Croatia, we were quite fast, uh, but I, I felt like we were missing something to fight for the win. While in Valencia, I, I, I was very confident in the car. I had very good feeling in it. Uh, I think we were very fast and uh, yeah, I left Valencia in a, in a good mood. Let's put it that way. Justin? Yeah, I can say pretty much the same as Nicolo. <laughs> um, for sure, Valencia was 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 the best weekend for me for the team, and um, you know I I missed the podium a lot. <laughs> and last year um, I I had a few chances to uh, go up there again. And um, yeah, in Valencia we were two times on the podium. Okay, only the junior trophy, but podium is podium. <laughs> And um, oh. yeah, you know, you need that as a race driver, those happy moments. And you can say thank you to the team with those moments for the work. And um, yeah, and like Nicolo said, it was the same for me with Croatia, the race there. It was like a switch uh, with me and with the team. The confidence was, was much stronger. And yeah, now I hope we can build up on that and will be more stronger this year. And you see, race fans, uh, NASCAR is a very uh, human sport. Your relationship with the team, with the mechanics, and sometimes with your car 
is something really determining the performance. So we have a we have a very a very nice question now. So uh, DF1 team owners, speaking of human relationship, uh, Norbert Valkofer and Gudrun Strohal, they are very very supportive of your guys. So we want to know, Justin, your first, who has the strongest hug between the two? I didn't understand this were the strongest. Hug. The, Hug. When, ah, when you win ah, or okay. do something. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> um, yeah. So when you are on the podium, then it's definitely Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> Nicolo, but, uh, same experience? Same experience. I have to say that maybe uh, Norbert Hug is more results oriented, while Gudrun is more like every day every day you know like exactly. um yeah that's it. that's the way it is but they are both great they're both as you said very very supportive um they are very very passionate and uh and yeah i mean it's it's a motivation for us drivers when we have uh, team owners that are so into it and they don't just do it for for business or or for any other reason they are just very passionate people and they're very very supportive and, and we like it and we like to to feel the confidence that they give us as well perfect um and we have a very special um atmosphere as well in the paddock we know that all drivers go along very well there are some discussions what? sometimes but uh, basically it's <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, very yeah, well it's, it's a big yeah. word but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i choose this word uh, on purpose <laughs> okay, okay i wanted to trigger that reaction no no um, but we all love each other we are, we are all very passionate people <laughs> um it's um, also between, advisor drops. <laughs> between the teammates it's also um that you work very well together and you know each other very well so um let's start with justin what is the best quality about Nicolo and in what part would you recommend him to improve a little bit? Do you have something? Uh, Don, he has to tell you the same thing. So Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> um, so I, I, um, I think Nicolo is a really calm guy. Um, it's always, always fun to talk with him um, about racing and of course other things. And um, he helps when he, when he can help you and um give you tips and tricks so so he's a really good guy and a, and a really good teammate so he has you know no secrets and uh, yeah so he he behaves like he has no secrets but I think yeah exactly <laughs> I, I was gonna laugh i was gonna laugh there but okay. <laughs> yeah but but yeah he's a really good teammate and um i think uh, he, his experience also also um is a good good thing for the, for the whole team and also for me to help me to improve and um, yeah what do you what to improve hmm, i don't know i i have nothing to improve for you <laughs> no i have many things to improve thank you very much justin <laughs> unfortunately i do have things to improve but but yeah from from my side as well uh, i think justin is, is a good teammate um, he listens, he speaks, he, he's keen to uh, exchange feedback, which is which is great between feedback uh, between team, teammates. Um, you know, there are not uh, too many games uh, between us. Uh, I definitely uh, had the teammates where there were a bit more games involved. Um, so that, that is definitely a nice part uh, of uh, the relationship with, with Justin. Um, we already worked a little bit together at Cal, um, and then yeah, last year. And, for another year and then yeah to improve um i mean it's it, it's not an easy easy thing um to us to a driver for another driver um, um we i think we all need to improve in different things and uh, um it's it's very difficult for me to to find something uh, particular that justin has to improve i, I don't remember his uh, his laps in the telemetry telemetry um precisely but maybe i don't know bring a little bit more speed in <laughs> Or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you can always go okay. a little bit faster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exa exactly. Yeah, I um. But uh, it seems like you are a big family in the paddock in the DF1 racing team. But you also have a very strong support from your fathers. And how important is family in racing for you guys? Let's start with Nicolo. 
Well, uh, family is everything. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here speaking with you guys if my dad wouldn't be uh, as passionate as he is. So, uh, definitely, uh, with sports that are not as mainstream as uh, the main sports, um, family is a huge part. Um, there are re- very, very little, few little kids that would be pushing their dad so much for them to be actually able to race without passion from their family. Uh, um, so I think in all of us, uh, there is a little bit of family involved. And yeah, in my case, it's 100% that my dad has been a huge motorsport fan all, all his life. He has been racing, he has been doing so many different things. And I've been very lucky to grow up in such an environment. Because right now I'm uh, super, super passionate about all motorsports. I'm lucky enough to to keep on racing and race at, at a very high level. Um, and it's, it is all thanks to him. Uh, so incredibly grateful um uh, i love uh, spending time with him at the racetrack uh he, he has been spotting me for um for a few races last year which is great as well like now i, I have him on, on my radio and uh, he tells me what to do and uh, it's very funny i mean it, it's these are memories that are gonna stay with us forever um and yeah it's just special justin yeah, this, the support of, of my dad was um, always important for me, uh, or the support of my whole family. Thanks to my dad, I I was in a go-kart as a little kid and found my love uh, to the motorsport and um, the racing stuff. So he was always uh, my, my mentor. And, um, you know, without him, I I don't think I, I don't think that I am I'm racing now. And, um, yeah. He helps me with everything, with the mental things, with with training, with everything you can imagine. And um, yeah, it's it's like this this father and son stuff. The time we have on the racetrack, the weekends. He works the whole week. I work the whole week, you know. And then those those few weekends in the in the season in the year, those are those are the best moments for us. And yeah, we will keep this in mind. Till we are, I don't know, 18 years old, and then <laughs> I'm happy to talk about this with him. And yeah, it's it's just the important important thing in motorsport in life. Without the support of your parents, I don't think that that you can achieve your goals. I don't know, but um, you need someone to share your happiness, your success. When you don't have someone to share this, I don't know if it's fun. And I have to say, it's also incredibly nice to see the the happiness in their eyes when i met them in the paddock when andre when we met them when we meet them in the paddock and their kids are doing well on track you can see they are really pulling really running from a place to another it's very it's incredible to see um well now it's my turn to ask our favorite question of the pure racing pit reporters so i don't know if i'm as good as andre in asking this, but i try i'll do my best let's, so let's guys see. guys let's put a smile as if we didn't do it enough until now uh, on our race fans faces and let us know let's start with justin uh what was the funny story you could tell of the last season of 2020 the funny story you can think about the funniest memory of your season it can be outside the track Uh, someone told us that his father lost the keys (laughs) somehow Uh, car keys somewhere well go on well that that's a difficult question because you know every weekend is funny with the team (laughs) um so it was a, a funny moment, but also a bad moment at the same time for me. <laughs> um, with the with my first um, junior trophy podium in Croatia last year, um, my first trophy for the F1 racing. Uh, so I think it was my first trophy. I don't know exactly, but um, yeah, I, I had a trophy after the podium. I wanted to give it to Norbert, and then it broke. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ouch. so it, 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 uh, it uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it just broke in the middle and uh, falls down to the floor. <laughs> and yeah, that, that was a little bit funny, but also a bad moment for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, 
Oh, I, I've been thinking about it, but in all honesty, I, I don't remember anything hilarious that happened this season uh, in the paddock. But I mean, if I look at if I look at it from my eyes right now, uh, it was very funny how I kept on uh, uh, trying to convince the race director in Valencia that uh, cancelling all my laps during qualifying wasn't a good decision. <laughs> uh, I think I spent around two hours in the race, in race director. <laughs> yeah, I tried my best. Uh, back then, it wasn't funny for me, but if I think about it, it was. Uh, I was very convinced about it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> did it work? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> <laughs> never. It never basically works. But you know, we try. Um, in this case, um, greets to Felipe, who's. Uh surely watching this episode later yeah. so um thank you Philippe. Philippe. <laughs> all right cool thank cool you so cool much cool. for your time and we are so glad that you will be back in the 2021 season with df1 racing the austrian powerhouse that will again field amazing cars amazing chevrolet camaros in the upcoming season and to miss no information follow us on socials your nascar's official channels on facebook instagram and twitter and we have also the your nascar.com website and leave a comment below this video if you have any question for the upcoming guests or ideas or any um tips we have you have to improve this format and of course subscribe to not miss any video here on your nascar's youtube channel Ring the bell. Thank you, guys. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank See you. you soon, guys. See you on track. Finished?